Animated pebbles or rocks or dew, we've got one here. Uh, this is a big one, about that size. Uh, and goodness knows what these depicted, but they're very, very classical of, the, of Hongshan culture and all sorts of variations on a theme. This is just a small collection. Uh, uh, some of these, the one at the bottom, bottom right, probably started off as a pebble in a stream, might well have. But it's got teeth, you know, they, they, they've got a little certain spirit to them. So, I mean, I'm not a great interpreter of, 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 of what um, shamanic religions believe, but clearly these were very important because they're very common. Skulls. Now, this is a nice collection that I got early on of black skulls. The black is due to incorporation of pyrite, probably. Um, the one top right I'll come back to, that's a lovely one, a bird on top of a skull. Uh, but this guy clearly went through periods of depression because top left is a skull on a skull. Now, in my opinion, you can't get much more depressed than dreaming of a skull on top of a skull. That is... but. <laughs> Uh, and it's worn as a pendant. It's got suspension holes. I'll come back to the other one. These two are very humble pieces, which we'll also return to because they've got other secrets in them. Animals and animaloids. Uh, uh, actually, you know, sort of mixed animals and humans. Uh, 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 but but the, 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 the um, uh, first lot that we're going to see are turtles. Turtles and turtle shells. Uh, are very, very common, and also very, very artistically done. I mean, the one top left is, is, is swimming. That's the only one I've seen really swimming uh, realistically. Uh, th there are two turtles in the middle there dancing. Um, the, again, you see something of the variety of, 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 of nephrite jade. A whole lot of things here. Two dogs. The dogs were bred. Uh, all domestic dogs came, apparently, according to an article in Science a few years ago, came from outbreeding, two outbreedings maximum, of wolves in northern China. But there's a rabbit, there's a cloven-hoofed animal, there's a pig's head with a bird on top, a bear smoking a pipe. Now, goodness knows what that tells us, but I think, I believe, uh, marijuana came from this part of the world. Nicotine didn't. Uh, and a cow god with a, with a zhulong on its head. Um, the... So an enormous variety. This is, a, this is another favorite of mine, uh, front and back. This is, a, I mean, a mermaid, you know, a, a sort of cross between a, a woman and a fish. Humans and humanoids. Now, this is a child playing with a bird. I don't know whether it was worn as a pendant. It could be, but I, I thought a really charming image. Note the whitening. The whitening... Many, many people don't like the whitening because they think, but, but it, I mean, it's, it is, as I said earlier, it's microcrystalline tremolite. I'm sorry, this is what the stuff is made of, and with time, that's what you'll get appearing on the surface. Uh, but of course, if you oil it, it, you'll see right through it, so it doesn't matter. But um, a child playing with a bird, a, a lovely idea. Um, the two girls, now, uh, the, 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 the um, one, one sort of lying on a skateboard or something. Um, these are fun. I mean, the one on the left is definitely an acrobat. And he's, not, he's actually a little statue. He doesn't have a, any suspension holes. But uh, again, all of this must be telling us that this is a very advanced culture. Uh, and not, as I'll show you, perhaps as, as um, people think of it now, primitive culture um, could not have created these, these, these objects. A whole range of different gods. Uh, you can call these humanoids or animaloids. Um, we'll, we'll come back, we'll return to the one uh, bottom right, because in a moment I'm going to tell you a little bit about the internal evidence um, uh, which allows you to validate these pieces or helps. Hair pieces. Um, uh, again, note the Hongshan icons. Top top right, little child's comb or something, with two, two zhulongs. Um, a Hongshan hawk on top of a ha uh, yeah, hairpin. Um, the, this rather complicated um, pig dragon or something come comb. And then uh, on the right, uh, in solid jade, uh, a little, what would work very well as a little girl's hairpiece. Now those icons, We've got, I've got a few of those. I've got four 
those small ones, that's one of the best, best. But the large ones appear a lot in tombs. And <laughs> but there's nothing that you'll see in any, any museum anywhere in the world that, that compares, in my opinion, to this one. I mean, it's only about two millimeters thick. Imagine carving that out of a solid piece of jade and then fakifying it by getting crystals to expand focally. Um, if you can do that, then you're, you're, I, I congratulate you. Zoomorphic clouds are rather fun. They don't, have seem, they don't seem to have plants, but they, they like clouds. And uh, the top left one has, you'll see, two sea dragons. This is rather, rather uh, aggressive cloud, bottom left, and, and then one with two birds in profile. Um, ceremonial pieces and vessels. Um, <coughs> the, the, uh, I've got mostly small pieces, but I have got some large pieces. And this is a wonderful piece. It's about that. High. It's about 25 centimeters, uh, and it's a Hongshan icon on the top, and four characters in relief, which I showed to Carol Mickelson at the British Museum. She wasn't able to read them. I've sent them to Tao Zhang of, of SOAS. He hasn't written back to say he can read them. They're like Shang, but different. Um, Carol Mickelson said, good heavens, but that was a thousand years before there was any writing. So I said, well, well, maybe they're out by a thousand years. It's always possible that people. Uh, um, but I mean, the, these are these are. Uh, are uh, I've, I've got five large pieces with I, with characters on them, and it would be lovely to you know. I mean, to do some proper work on them. This is a very interesting piece. It fits nicely into your hand. I mean, your fingers fit over those. Uh, the 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 bamb looks like bamboo in, in cross section. But on the face of it, it looks like I've got it mounted skew. But in fact, um, another feature of Hongshan pieces is that uh, it is rotational symmetry. This here is actually wider than it is there. And at the top, it's the other way around. And the reason that has to be, I'll also return uh, when we talk about weathering in a moment to, to this area here. But, um, if you think about it, it had to be like that because otherwise the grooves would be opposite grooves. So viewed from uh, below, that's what it looks like. You see that a, a ridge gives it a tremendous strength. The ridge comes opposite a groove. And yet you have this illusion. What do you have? It was only when I drew this piece that I realized just how interesting it was. It's more obvious on a photograph than it is in real life. Very, very, very interesting compositionally. Um, and uh, then we have um, this piece, which is a, a jade loving cup. Now, I've not paid more than 3,000 Hong Kong dollars for any of these large pieces. I have very good sources, but you know, they're, they're uh, 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 buy now while, s while supplies last, I would suggest. If you think of the work, these are hollowed out. Uh, the work that went into carving this, there are four loops two front, two back, and there are all of these little nipples, 12 nipples around each, each flask. Uh, 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 presumably, you know, a marriage cup, a loving cup. You know, the, I mean, they have, them in, they have them in ceramics, and people, you know, the, the couple drink out of them, pour, pour wine all down their, all down their, their clothes. Um, lots of interesting secrets hidden in these about, about the technology. There are a lot with artistic signatures which I believe the, art, the artists were so good, it, these often point to the same unique hand. I mean, these pieces, these pendants, to me, all have the same artistic signature, the same way he did the bird's eyes and the beak, and this little pelican at the bottom and a, an owl or a bat bottom right. Really, really very, very distinctive.